anything. Hello? Hello. Uh, is Mikhail home? No, he's out. Okay. Uh, should I wait outside? No, no, come in. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Sit down. Thank you. You want some tea? Sure. Mikhail doesn't let me use this anymore. Says it makes us look like barbarians. Uncivilized. Like immigrants. Oh, yeah? I know what you're thinking. It is a bit funny coming from him. <laughs> he did not used to be like this. When we were young, at home, he was beautiful. He was happy. He made me happy. But um, then something changed years ago. I never quite knew what it was. So many years I wondered what it was or what was wrong with me. That I did not see it in him. Or I changed him. Life is complicated. I, I never thought I'd live like this. No? When the war came, I did bad things. And after the war, I thought nothing of doing bad things. I killed people, smuggled people, sold people. And you don't worry about your soul? <sighs> after you walk into a village, and you see 50 children, all sitting neatly in a row against the church wall, each with their throats cut and their hands chopped off, you realize that the creature that could do this doesn't have a soul. God is very complicated. You mustn't give up hope. Huh. Well, I don't know about that. Привет, Лена. Привет, Ма. What is that? Uh... I tell you one thing and you ignore me! Oh. You stupid oh. bitch! Oh. <laughs> Nicobelic baby. Good to see you. Hey, you too. <sighs> what did you want? Oh, I want you to teach people to listen to you me. You want him to get us the money? Fuck the money. Mikhail, please calm down. We're already in a lot of trouble. I don't know if I can smooth things over with Petrovic. Fuck him and fuck you. Who are you, my daddy? Get the fuck out of my house. Mikhail! Get out! So, what do you want? This prig who owes me money owns a garage in Chase Point. I want you to pick up a truck and take it to him. Call me when you get to the truck. It's in Shotlar on Montauk Avenue. Go. Get out of here.
please make a U-turn. We're safe. Once you feel that, you'll, you'll want to buy the T-shirt and the program. Yeah. The commemorative DVD will be making this limited edition three layer. And, and once we join together, all of us join together, global warming will end, man. Global warming will end. I mean, like, I, I'm no scientist, okay? But sometimes these scientists, they, they just make things confusing. It takes actors and musicians to explain important three months? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? Being an actor, it's really hard. Say somebody else's words and then go sit in a trailer. You know, people don't realize the stress of relationships. Working long hours for sometimes a week straight. You know, the pressure of getting paid $20 million to read lines written by someone who makes a few hundred dollars. Sleeping with a lot of women. It's tough. I, I mean, I know I'm fortunate. It's kind of like one of those Chinese symbols, but, but you know, some days I get hand release from calculating the right. on the beach, and the next day uh, I wear glasses and talk about suffering. You have arrived. Uh, okay, by the way. Uh, well, uh, why don't we just take a call then? Mr. Faustin, I have the truck. Drive it over to the garage on the corner of Guantanamo and Windmill, park up inside. Sure. What am I delivering? When it's inside, take the explosive. It should blow up good. Maybe you'll be careful on the drive over. It's pretty volatile stuff. Explosive? What the fuck? Calculating routes. The inferiority complex. Obesity. Turn. Fair trade. Right. Gourmet coffee. China. Uh, there are a lot of things being an actor has made me an expert on. I understand. Four hundred. Yeah. Turn left. You are wound up, Brandon. Are, are you high? Oh. <laughs> oh, you bet I am, and <laughs> you bet I am. I am high on life, and my deity just keeps running out of money and needs a hefty part of my income. Can you get me on the internet? Just like all the other ones, just like all that, so don't be so prejudiced. Hey, Kiflam, right? Right, okay, well, let's take another call for Brandon Roberts. Okay. Hey, Brandon, I really like you in all those situation comedies, like, like when you go back to elementary school as an adult and sleep with your mother by mistake. It's funny as shit, but I have to say, I'm tired of all this green shit. These environmentalists haven't done us any favors. It's why all our food comes from China now. China's gonna take us over. Exactly. Exactly. See, that's exactly the, the point I'm trying to make. It's what they don't want you to know. That's why I drive a hybrid SUV to the organic market across town to buy imported organic New Agent mushrooms that have been flown in, burning tons of pollutants, killing the pollutants so they can't pollute anymore. See, that's what makes me an environmentalist. I understand the science. I know how it works. I got taught it in drama school. See, I only drink bottled water that's shipped from Samoa instead of pumped from a well across town because everything here, it's just so dirty. It, it, it's a lot like my new film. There's a, a chase scene on the Los Santos freeway. Nico and Roman, we should go and get drunk together. Roman, I'm nervous enough about driving a truck full of explosives around the city for Mikhail Faust. He's out of control. Anyway, I'm sorry, but if I get drunk with you and then drive this thing, I'll definitely blow myself up. I'll catch you later, cousin. Consumer-driven culture is killing our democracy. Buy yourself a hybrid, a solar panel, and a composting what toilet, and set on? yourself free. In. This is Kirillus. Turn right. We return to the intelligent Okay, we're back on the intelligent agenda with me, Mike Riley. Let's bring our next guest. Turn right. You got it. All right, All right. Uh, next up, he's an actor as well, but has gotten into politics by running for you governor of our state. You may have seen the TV commercials for John Hunter, where he accuses Michael Graves of all kinds of nasty things. Well, here he is, John Hunter.
difference by giving the networks millions of dollars to run campaign ads. It's is a series of tubes and strange men want to put their privates in the other side of that tube and right into your child's bedroom. As a conservative liberal, I feel it's my duty to try it. Buy a financial stake in it and then regulate it. It's a win-win. And the best bit is we can all feel guilty together. Well, let's go back to the phones then. Steve, Steve, you're on Intelligent Agenda. Hi, Miss Honor. I really enjoy your campaign commercials. It's the best part of it. country. Give me a break.